t-shirt might have been genetically modified to be pest resistant, or the bacteria modified to produce life-saving medicines, as well as the better known GM crops that we eat. And then there's some wacky organisms like spider goats and glow-in-the-dark mice. Firstly, let's find out how genetic modification happens. The short answer is, there are a couple of different ways. There are several techniques that can be used to modify a genome, but the main one relies on bacteria. Bacteria are single-celled organisms that don't have a nucleus like our cells, but instead have one main circle of DNA called the circular chromosome and lots of tiny circles of DNA called plasmids. In GMOs, it's all about the plasmids. They are really useful tiny bits of DNA that can contain one or several genes. The cool thing about plasmids is that they can be passed between bacteria as easily as shaking hands. So plasmids are a super important part of how genetic modification happens. Let's go through the steps using the human insulin gene as an example. First, we cut the gene for human insulin from a human cell using an enzyme. We then use the same enzyme to cut the circular bacterial plasmid open and stick the insulin gene and the plasmid together. Then we put the modified plasmid back into a bacterial cell and we wait. But not for too long, as bacteria cells divide roughly once every 30 minutes. And a little while later, we have millions of bacteria producing the human insulin protein and excreting it. The human insulin is filtered out and purified and can then be used by people with diabetes. How simple is that for saving lives? Spider goats are also a great example of a genetically modified organism. They aren't as scary as they sound. They're goats that have had the spider silk gene inserted into their DNA. So when female goats lactate, produce breast milk, the milk contains spider silk. The spider silk is pretty incredible. It's as strong as steel, but so light that a strand long enough to circle the earth would weigh less than 500 grams. So there are thousands of uses for a such a unique material. Scientists have used genetic modification to introduce genes that glow under UV light, such as from jellyfish into other animals for medical research. This may seem totally useless, but actually being able to see certain cells in the dark has led to a lot of scientific discoveries. Glow-in-the-dark mice and fish have helped scientists make new breakthrough research into treating cancer, Parkinson's and spinal cord injuries. And glow-in-the-dark cats have been used for HIV research. Crops can also be genetically modified to make them more pest resistant, to have nutritional benefit like additional vitamin A. To learn about GM crops, watch this video. So there we have genetically modified organisms that have had their DNA modified for some different uses. So genetically modified organisms, we have already studied about genetically modified organisms in detail. Okay, like in, uh, I'm just, just for a recap, let me repeat that what genetically modified organisms are. So basically a genetically modified organism is an animal, plant or a microbe whose DNA has been altered using genetic engineering techniques. For thousands of years, humans have been using breeding methods to modify organisms. Corn, cattle and even dogs have been selectively bred over generations to have certain desired traits. So basically, the old methods that were used for getting the desired characteristics in the organism of our interest was selective breeding. But nowadays, genetic, genetic modification or genetic engineering is used to get the desired traits in the organisms. So basically, what was the difference between, what is the difference between selective breeding and genetically modified organisms? So in that selective breeding, so basically selective breeding involves the selection of the parents that are that have characteristics of our interest. And then we hope that the, the, the offsprings that they produce have the characteristics, have the desirable characteristics, right? But selective breeding is very slow. Selective breeding is imprecise because we just hope. I mean, confirm that basically your organisms, your offsprings produce only those offsprings would have the characteristic, the desirable characteristics, we just hope for them. 
बट इन जेनेटिक मॉडिफिकेशन और जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग हम डीएनए का पूरा सेगमेंट कट करते हैं वन ऑर्गेनिज्म से उसको दूसरे ऑर्गेनिज्म में इंसर्ट कर देते हैं सो बेसिकली जो दूसरे ऑर्गेनिज्म का जीनोम होता है वो कम्प्लीटली ऑल्टर हो जाता है एंड दो दैट ऑर्गेनिज्म स्टार्ट शोइंग द डिजायरेबल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स सो इन दिस वे सेलेक्टिव जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग इज मच मोर कन्वीनियंट एंड मच मोर यू नो बेटर इन दिस फील्ड सो बेसिकली जेनेटिक to obtain genetic uh, mo- genetically modified organism different techniques are used the first first hum ye kar sakte hain ki hum kisi organism ke dna segment ko cut kare aur dusre organism mein inst- insert kar de the, the second thing that can be used is that ya hum kisi bhi organisms ke ke dna se ya kisi bhi organism ke genome se wo specific segment of dna ko remove kar de taki wo characteristics wo show na kare but the most preferable method is to cut the dna segment and insert it into another organism one more difference between selective breeding and genetic genetic engineering is that selective breeding is done between closely related related species while well, genetic engineering if we talk about genetic engineering to aap jaise we have seen the video as well to humne video mein example dekhi spider silk goat ki so spider and goats are from two entirely different species but humne spider ke spider ke genetic material mein that gene that codes for silk that gene spider mein code karti hai silk ke liye wo gene ka humne wo segment hame dna ya cut kiya wo humne goat mein insert kar diya and what happened that goat started producing spider silk during lactation so basically isme kya hota hai ki hum jo animal jo completely different species se belong karte hain उनको आपस में उनके उनकी जेनेटिक मॉडिफिकेशन कर रहे होते हैं सो वन वेरी कॉमन एग्जांपल दैट वी डिस्कस यस्टरडे एज वेल एज ह्यूमन इज ह्यूमन इंसुलिन व्हाट हैपेंस एट क्रोमोसोम नंबर 11 बेसिकली कोड्स फॉर इंसुलिन इन ह्यूमन बॉडी ठीक है लेकिन व्हाट हैपेंस इन डायबिटीज मेलाइटिस टाइप 1 दैट द पेनक्रियास स्टॉप्स स्टॉप्स प्रोड्यूसिंग द बीटा सेल्स इन पेनक्रियास स्टॉप प्रोड्यूसिंग द इंसुलिन ठीक है तो फर्स्ट क्या हुआ जब जब न्यू न्यू डिजीज आई और जब देखा गया ये यू नो ये डिजीज बहुत ज्यादा स्प्रेड हो रही है एंड उसके लिए साइंटिस्ट व्हाट साइंटिस्ट स्टार्टेड स्टार्टेड स्लॉटरिंग कैटल्स बफलोस पिग्स एंड काउस ताकि उनका पेंट्रियास निकाल के उनके पेंट्रियास से हम इंसुलिन ले लें एंड देन फिर हम ह्यूम से इंजेक्ट कर दें बट वट हैपन जब साइंटिस्ट ने किया तो जो काउ की इंसुलिन या कैटल्स की इंसुलिन ह्यूमन बॉडी में इंजेक्ट की गई सो दैट इंसुलिन वाज प्रोड्यूसिंग डिफरेंट एलर्जीज सो बेसिकली एक चीज का तो ट्रीटमेंट हुआ था बट द अदर थिंग वाज बीइंग गिफ्टेड राइट सो दैट वाज नॉट सुटेबल अदर थिंग दैट साइंटिस्ट स्टार्टेड यूज कॉम ओरली ओरली थे इंसुलिन को बट वी ऑल नो दैट इंसुलिन इंसुलिन इज एन हॉर्मोन एंड इंसुलिन बेसिकली एक प्रोटीन है अगर उसको हम ओरली पेशेंट्स को देंगे तो वट विल हैपन स्टमक में प्रोटीन का डाइजेशन होता है एंड इंसुलिन भी डाइजेस्ट हो जाएगा और ब्लड में तो एब्जॉर्ब हो ही नहीं सकेगा सो देन वट हैपन दैट साइंटिस्ट ने क्रोमोजोम नंबर इलेवन पर जो जीन होती है ह्यूमन में दैट इज कोडिंग फॉर बेसिकली इंसुलिन वो डी एन ए सेगमेंट कट किया और बैक्टेरिया के प्लास्टमेट में वो इंसर्ट कर दिया एंड वी ऑल नो दैट बैक्टेरिया बहुत फास्ट बहुत फास्ट डिवाइड करते हैं एवरी थर्टी मिनट्स दे डिवाइड सो बेसिकली जब बैक्टीरिया के प्लास्टमेट में वो डीएनए सेगमेंट डाला गया जो ह्यूमन ह्यूमन इंसुलिन प्रोड्यूस करता है तो बैक्टीरिया से भी ह्यूमन इंसुलिन प्रोड्यूस करना स्टार्ट कर दिया एंड व्हाट हैपन दैट साइंटिस्ट ने बाद में उसको जो है सेपरेशन की इंसुलिन की फ्रॉम बैक्टेरियल बॉडी एंड देन वो मार्केट्स में सेल होने लगी एंड दैट वॉज फर्स्ट ऑल एज ह्यूमन The next example that we have uh, that I have is that genetic engineering is used in the research of many diseases. For example, as they as in the video as well, they have mentioned that uh, genetic engineering is used in the research of cancer, AIDS, Parkinson's disease. But one example that I have is genetic engineering in genetic engineering in research of Alzheimer's disease. So basically, we all know. that alzheimer's disease is related to brain and what happens in alzheimer's disease alzheimer's disease may the uh, neurons of the brain start deteriorating and wo uh, jo neurons hote hain basically wo uh, deteriorate hona start ho jate hain so and uh, this is a disease seen in humans so basically scientists needed to do research on this right so research karne ke liye what scientists did 
साइंटिस्ट ने क्या किया साइंटिस्ट ने एक नीमा टोड वॉर्म लिया लेट मी शो यू दिक्चर आई है पिक्चर एज वेल So basically, this is the nematode worm. This is a round worm. Its scientific name is C. elegans, right? As you can see, that this round worm is transparent, and its round worm has a nervous system that only contains three hundred cells, right? So it's, we all know that uh, any scientist research for the organism use करते हैं that organism is simple so that the scientist है वो easily study कर सके. So basically, scientists use this round worm. to do research on alzheimers what they did like the transparent worm is see you can easily under microscope cells ko study kar sakte and this worm has only 300 cells in its nervous system so basically you know is jo iska cell jo uh, cell cells ko fluorescent protein se uh, stain kiya so that they can study that easily and then we all know that app gene codes for amyloid plaques in humans which is a characteristic of alzheimers disease राइट right? तो उन्होंने वो जीन को निकाल के ह्यूमन जीनोम से वो जीन निकाल के दे इंसर्टेड दैट जीन इन दिस राउंड वॉम सो बेसिकली व्हाट हैपन दैट वो वाली चीज इस वॉम में भी आ गई एंड देन साइंटिस्ट ऑब्जर्व दैट जो भी सेल्स इस इस जीन से इंटरेक्ट कर रहे थे या जो एमोइलॉइड प्लास के ये जीन प्रोड्यूस कर रही थी वो सेल्स भी डिटोरिएट होना शुरू हो गए सो बेसिकली साइंटिस्ट गॉट यू नो दिस वॉज अ रेवोल्यूशनरी स्टेप in you know doing research for alzheimer's disease one more very good example that i have is let me share this, that example so basically this is the example of glow in the dark cats these cats are used in the research of aids so let's see how they are used bacteria plant and animals here are seven of these such experiments but they represent just the tip of what will become a massive iceberg at number 7 we have the sudden death mosquitoes dengue fever is a mosquito borne virus that causes 2.3 million infections and over 25000 deaths per year worldwide as yet there is no cure but to deal with it to release into the wild and breed with the indigenous mosquito population these then pass a special gene to their offspring this special gene means that the baby mosquitoes die before they themselves could breed thus reducing the number of mosquitoes that could go on to infect people trials in specific areas have shown up to an 80% decrease in the mosquito population for up to 3 months after the initial release number 6 glow in the dark cats The glow-in-the-dark cat was developed as a way to fight the feline immunodeficiency virus, or FIV, which is related to the human version of HIV and typically affects feral cats. In 2011, American and Japanese scientists inserted genes into cats to help them resist FIV. In order to mark the cells more easily, they also inserted a green fluorescent protein into both genes transferred to the feline eggs. This protein, which is naturally produced in jellyfish, is commonly used in this area of research to monitor the activity of the altered genes. This let the scientists examine how the resistant gene developed within the cats by examination under a microscope. The modified cats are always normal during the daytime, but sometimes they glow at night. Number five, the web spinning spider goats. When it comes to natural goods, flex. So guys, I have spider cell goat. I have given example. Did you basically spider? My jo gene and that that uh, that coats for silk. वो वाला डीएनए सेगमेंट गोड्स में इंसर्ट कर दिया जाता है एंड व्हाट हैपेंस दैट व्हेन फीमेल गोड्स सेलेक्टेड दे प्रोड्यूस दैट स्पाइडर सिल्क एंड स्पाइडर सिल्क इज द यू नो स्पाइडर सिल्क हैज ग्रेट टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ और ये बहुत लाइट वेट मटेरियल होता है सो बेसिकली साइंटिस्ट ने इसको प्रोड्यूस करने के लिए गोड्स के अंदर वो वाली जीन इंसर्ट की सो आई होप दैट डार्क ग्लो इन द डार्क कैट्स भी आप लोगों को समझ आया होगा दैट बेसिकली दीस कैट्स आर यूज्ड फॉर द रिसर्च इन एचआईवी so basically the conclusion that we got is that the genetic genetic engineering not only help the scientists to produce quality products like for example medicines and not only helped us in pharmaceutical uses but also help scientists in doing research right because obviously humans may research uh, humans may research karna difficult hai 
लेकिन आप कोई सिंपल ऑर्गेनिज्म चूज करेंगे साइंटिस्ट उसपे रिसर्च करते हैं जस्ट आई कैन गिव यू द एग्जांपल ऑफ नीमाटोड बॉम्ब्स जिनके ऊपर अल्जाइमर्स डिजीज की रिसर्च की जा रही है सो बेसिकली दिस जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग हैज हेल्प द साइंटिस्ट इन डूइंग रिसर्च ऑफ मेनी डेडली डिजीजेस सो दिस इज हाउ जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग इज वेरी यूजफुल फॉर अस Assalamualaikum. Hajra, kya bolu? Chashme badhur. Hajra ko koi nazar nahi lagayega. Acha, meri bahut achhi student hai. Bachcho, kaisi lagi presentation? Ha, Masha Allah, zaroor bolna. Very well explained, Masha Allah, Masha Allah. Kuch poochna hai bachcho? ओके एक स्टूडेंट कह रहा है मेरी मिस हो गई ठीक है मैंने रिकॉर्ड की है कोई इससे महरूम नहीं रहेगा अगर हाजरा की परमिशन हुई तो फिर मैं अपलोड कर दूंगी अल्जाइमर्स वाली रिपीट करनी है ठीक है बाकी 